good day. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. Today I'd like to talk about creating an email signature. Now you remember the routine. If you like this video, please click the like. And if you want to support the channel, please subscribe. Now let's get on with the video. There are three goals of this presentation. The first is should you have a signature? The second is how to make a signature. And the third, I want to show you a free program that will do it all for you. So for many years in my Gmail course, I've taught how to create a digital signature in Gmail. And in order to create a digital signature, you have to put personal information into the email. Now for half of the uh, students that I've taught, they don't want to put personal information into their signature. The other half do. So it is a personal decision you have to make when you're sending out your email how much personal information you want to put into your signature block. But let's take a look at some examples that I have of some signature blocks you'll recognize. Well, guess guess whose signature block this is? This is mine. You'll see that I have uh, some personal information here. I am a busy person. I spend a lot of time uh, connecting with people and I, and I hope they connect back with me. So I want to give them lots of personal information um, to, to contact me. So this is uh, a pretty liberal signature block I have and it even has a little bit of advertising in it. Now let's look at another very busy person as well. It happens to be Bob G. Yes, he, he is a very busy person. He does a lot of security talks across the country. And in booking and receiving information, he needs to make sure you know what information you have available uh, to contact him. So this is his signature block. Now let's look at another very busy person who I know quite well. Guess who this is? Well, his signature block is two words, Huey Popluck. So maybe Huey has decided that he doesn't want to share personal information with you. Not sure, maybe we can ask him that in the question and answer part. And the third is a very colorful person who does a lot of work on this show, Dewey. And I put this signature block in because Dewey has one word in his signature, but it's a written word. We'll talk a little bit about this later. Okay, let me show you how to make a signature block in Gmail. All right, let's see how to make a signature in Gmail. Here we are in my Gmail program. We're gonna come up to the top right and see this little gear icon here. This is your settings, um, settings icon. Let's click this, and this will bring up um, the first menu but we want to go to see all settings. So we're now going to click this and it's loading all our settings. And you'll see that we now are in the general settings of Gmail. I want you to scroll down as you keep coming down, keep coming down. And now you'll see that this is where you can add uh, signature. This is the area here and you will be going over the signatures I have in a minute but this is where you create a new signature. You can click this and you can create a new signature. I'll be going over this in the next few slides with you, but this is the area you go to to create a signature block in Gmail. Now it will be a little bit different in Outlook and all the other email programs you have, but it will there will be a signature block feature in all email programs. All right, now I can tell you that to create a professional signature block, one that looks very good is actually pretty difficult. And you're gonna to have to spend a lot of time trying to move information around and formatting your picture so you get it exactly as you want. And after many years of teaching this, it's just not as easy as you might think. It does require an HTML template. 
Now, what the heck is an HTML template? Well, this is where you actually put the computer code into that signature block rather than just putting information in that's generic to the uh, email program that you're using. Now, there are many paid services to do this for you. There's, uh, they often want an upfront cost or a monthly subscription fee. Yes, there is not a lot of free stuff out there on the internet. Now also, it must look good on all devices. It must look good on the laptop. It must be good on the desktop and certainly good on the web. So it's got to look good in all the um, devices that are going to be looking at this. So how to do this? Let me show you how to do it. Now the demonstration today is going to be on a free software program called Signature Hound. I discovered this last week and it's pretty darn cool. And you go there by www.signaturehound.com and when you get there I want you to sign in or create an account. It's free. Hey, this is free. It's good, pretty good too. Watch how we do this. Well, it always has been free. There was, uh, the story goes back to Madison Giles. He's the founder, and I suppose the sole proprietor, of Signature Hound. He wrote this program, and there was a monthly subscription fee and an upfront fee to use it. However, Madison is now a firefighter. He left the computing business and is now a firefighter in Canberra. So he decided to make this site free. Yes, it is free. So when you sign up, there is no charge and you can use this for free. All right, we have now logged into our Signature Hound site. The setup and login is pretty easy. On the screen ahead of me, you'll see uh, I have an existing uh, signature block called Santa Claus. Uh, if you want to create a new signature block, you just click the plus button here and you'll create a new signature. But for speed today, I've already entered a bunch of data. So let's click on our Santa Claus signature. Now what I'd like you to do is I want you to go over on the left side uh, this is super easy to use, but what I want you to do is I want you to go over and uh, there's two parts here. You'll want to enter your personal info and your business info. We'll get to the design in a minute. So let's go to our personal info here. Uh, what we've done is uh, I've added a picture so you can add your, uh, your picture that uh, you want for your website or for your uh, signature block. Uh, you can set the profile width. Uh, we've got a name, we've got the job title, we've got a department email address, and you can put a bunch of uh, phone numbers. Uh, and again, there really is no limit to this. So this is what I want you to put in, uh, first of all. Uh, if you have any further information you want, we can click the business info here. I've added another logo, so you can have two logos. Uh, we'll call it Clause Incorporated. And uh, I've also added uh, a website that we have. And here is, again, this is so difficult to do if you're trying to do it on your own. You'll look at all our social media links here. Now, you, don't, you, can, you can delete these links just by clicking the X, and you can take, the, uh, take uh, whatever you want. Uh, this was the Skype one at the end here. You can simply, by clicking this, you can either add it or remove it. However, uh, so you can, if you don't have social media, you don't have, but if you wanted to include your Facebook site, you could certainly add it and then it would, uh, it would appear in these links. All right. Now, so once you get all your data put in that you want, your personal information and any further data that you want for business, then you can click the design. All right. And here, um, uh, comes up. And, and you can then come down here, and I'm not going to go through all these toggles, but you can uh, certainly edit this as well through clicking these toggles, and you can change the font size, etc. And I'll let you play with this. But the big thing is to come up to the top now to templates. And here's where the beauty of this software is. 
Uh, this is a, a, the, the default template we have here, but I can change the template as we come along. You'll see the different types of templates that, that we can use. And all you have to do is click whichever one you like, and it will make the signature block for you. So you have your choice of, I think there's eight different templates that you can use. Now, once you decide on, uh, and, and again, you don't have to re-enter any personal information, it will uh, adjust all this for you and format it for uh, whatever email program you're using. Okay, so now we've decided this is the template we like. We like this is how it's going to look. We come up to the top right-hand corner here, and it says Install Signature. So we're going to click this, and now we're brought to the next menu where we have all the different email programs that you probably have. Now we use, and what we're going to be creating is a signature in the Gmail web software. So we're going to click this button, and it is going to simply, we're simply going to copy the signature. I'm going to click this button here, and if you look down at the bottom, it says your signature has been copied to the clipboard. One of the things that you need to watch is when you click this copy, if you get an if you get a message up top here that says you are over the number of characters you've used, you've used too many characters or your pictures are too big, and it won't let you uh, copy and paste it into your Gmail program. So watch that. So if you're hitting the copy, if you're hitting the copy button here and it's not working, there will be a message at the top here and you've got too much information for the signature block. All right, now we're going to come over and this is your uh, this is your Gmail software and this is the signature block. I've made a bunch of signatures here, but we're going to create a new one. We're going to call it Santa 2. We're going to create this and I'm simply going to right click and I'm going to paste this, all right? And this is going to paste it in and this will have our this will have our information that we want and I'll come down now and we'll save changes and we will have uh, our Santa 2 uh, signature block. So now when we come to compose a new a new email we can come down to the right side here we'll uh, insert a signature we will have Santa 2 and there is our information that we have just made and this is how you can easily make a signature block You'll see down at the bottom here with our signatures, we can choose any of these uh, signatures that we want. I can choose this is one. This is one that I just uh, made for Tech for Seniors, and it's uh, again all formatted for you that will work well in this uh, signature block. Well, that's how you create a signature block in Gmail with Signature Hound. Sort of interesting. Give it a try. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. If you like this video, please click the like, and I'd sure appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Till next time, enjoy your day.